Yeah, I forgot the record. So about clearing. Uh, so to uh, identify the, the what really happened, to identify the, the judging thoughts I have, to identify my actual feelings in the body, to identify what does this remind me of, and, and uh, to also uh, explore that and then to also remove, in order to clear the charge with this friend of mine, I need to be able to, to remove all these other people from my past and then to do some type of minimum mm, introspection to, to, that will end up in knowing what to do, what to do externally, as well as how to be with this. And usually it, uh, it, it clears the charge somehow. Mm. Uh, it usually can be done in different ways. I mean, in Mankind Project, how they do it is that uh, there is a facilitator, there is the charged person, the person who has a uh, charge. And then uh, ideally, you know, let's say if the person is charged with someone in the group, then the other person uh, is participating too. So there's a facilitator, there's me who I'm a pissed with you, and there's you that I'm pissed with. So it's like a three man process. Uh, this is special container and this is not going to work and it's not, you know, now as a therapist this is not going to work like that uh, because you don't have the people there and all that and it's pretty like that can be it's very intense yet very effective uh, another option would be uh, that they do in mankind project they say i'm charged i'm in a group this is group process yeah i'm in a group and then i am charged with my boss but my boss is not in the group so I'm going to have somebody stand for my boss. So there's a facilitator here, there's me, I'm charged, and then there is my friend, David, uh, standing in as my boss. Yeah, so this is another option. Uh, however, this works, this works like in my office here is with a client, so it's just me and the client. So, I can use a, I could use a dummy, you know, I can uh, create two chairs. So have uh, the person sit on a chair and then in front of him, I put another chair where there is a dummy or a pillow or uh, like a big pillow with a jacket and sunglasses. So this, this helps so that they talk to that person. So you can do it like that, but it can work without any dummy. So it's just you, the therapist and the client. So I suggest we just go the last option. You know, that's you know, all, all the other things are, are good, but um, this for one-on-one -on -one work. I think the best way is to just do it and then explain it. I'm, I'm curious if anybody uh, here, uh, yeah, so let's all close our eyes and for a moment and Think about all our relations, current relations with people in our life. And, and see if there is anybody in your life current that you have a charge with. In some sense of judgments or upsetness or withhold. And usually this comes very clear, closing the eyes, somebody will come up or nobody will come up. So it just comes up by itself, you know, whenever there is some disconnected absence of love, you know. So all of you online and there in person here, on a count to three, I'll count to three and then if you feel like you have a charge with someone, you can put out a, a fist like this. And if you are clear, you can just put an open hand. Yeah? So uh, one, two, three. All right, so kind of all of you, yeah, so do we have four charges here. <laughs> Any charges there online? 
I, I will I will take the the charges here. They are more uh, uh, visible. <laughs> so among these people that that put a charge, if you can just go within your heart and if you can rate the urgency and the intensity of your charge from one to five five being that man this is eating on me i'm thinking about this a lot i need to clear this now one is like ah it's not so strong i can work on it later it's not burning so rate from one to five so again you count to three and then you put fingers <laughs> so one two three Okay, so we have a three and a two and a four and a four. Yeah. So maybe we can do, you know, with Maria, uh, if, if, if it's okay, because uh, Hamid did some other work before. Uh, I'm, I'm curious just before going to it, I mean, if you want to, to try it? I definitely want to try it, but I have to ask him if it's okay for Hamid to try it. It is with yes. him. So, he's the, he's the so you have a charge with him. Right. This will be very juicy. No, but, <laughs> but no, it has to be okay with Harold. Yeah, of course, of course, of if course. If not, I can just... I can but that's just, great, right? Because they're both that, that will this be great, <laughs> uh, but, but no pressure, you know? Oh, no, I mean, he has to be so. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> so then we'll do just straight up MKP style. You yeah. know, everybody will be happy. Um, so if a, you yeah. can, if you can maybe put chairs that you are facing each other, basically. Can we look at, can we watch them? Too? Yeah, are you turning us around? Um, we can come on that side. Do you want to watch them? I don't know. I maybe you just watch me. How about that? Because it's too much pressure. It's already pressure. Yeah. You will guide us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will guide you. This is a very controlled process. <laughs> this is very clear structure, uh, and that creates safety in that. You know, it's not uh, shooting off the hip stories and all that. Just give me a moment to set it up, yeah? Uh, also, since we are doing it like that, in like classic mankind project thing, you know, if you, uh, because this is vulnerable somehow, and a little edgy for both of you, if you feel like you need any support, you can have somebody, if you want an ally, can be next to you there, put a hand on you or be back to back to you, actually no hands. Um, so you can have someone next to you or, or if you want to have someone next to you or you're just fine by yourself, that's fine too. You are good? Yeah, you guys are pretty peaceful. Uh, okay, so, and how it works is that you, you I will talk to you uh, but you don't need to look at me as soon as we start. So you just more like look at him or 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 um, stay with the eyes closed. And then so uh, Hamid, so your role is just to be as a mirror. You you uh, you don't say anything. We're gonna do it like that. So you don't say anything. Yeah. So you're just very present, and you hear her. You feel her. And then, you know, it's not about you, basically, from one angle. This is her trigger. This, this is about her work. This is her work. And, you know, uh, and so yeah, just ground yourself. You're aware of your seat and you are very present. And thank you for, you know, the love that you hold space for this. You know, you're open and, yeah. Uh, and then for you, basically, this is about you to uncover something about, about you, you know, it might be something, of course, going to hear me. So, so, uh, yeah, and we'll have just some simple question. Yeah. So the first question is, 
like what is the, the data, the data connected to this charge that you have with him? Uh, meaning like what were the facts? Not interpretation, no judgments. Um, oh, also, by the way, um, he asked me before. So this is totally confidential. This is confidential. And uh, we buy onto this, like we don't see, like the safety of the container, whatever we speak here stays here, especially personal details. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Good. Um, so the data is if it's an incident report. He said this, he did that as if a camera with a watch would agree with you, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, tune in to, you can close your eyes and then you can see what is the, the data, what are the actual facts. And there will be other steps later when I go into, you know, thoughts and feelings, but we start with the facts. Meaning like, you know, he, you said this and you didn't do it or you, you, uh, you, you, shot, you lied or you, something. And it's fine if it's very little data too. You just want to get to the data. And when you say it, you look at him and you say like you or I or you. So the, the facts are, the data is that I have moved in this new place, in this new area. Yeah, and if you can just look at him, we just don't need to look at me at all. The fact is that, that I have moved in this new area and I am and I, I would love to um, able to have a home here to settle roots here and and buy a home in this area and I I am I, I feel that I'm on my own on this that that okay so this goes into feelings and we'll go into it later but the, the facts are that you are new into this area and you want to have a home and, and Hamid is not, and you are not ready to do this with me. Is this your evaluation or this is what he said? Is this a judgment, a projection? Is this something unspoken? Is this something that he's, I mean, you deduct or guess or it's a? It's a fact. It's a fact. He has a home somewhere else. Uh-huh. You have a home somewhere else. Right. And I am looking for a home here. Yeah. Okay. And he's not ready to let go of the other home and build a home here with me. And this is a fact. This is a data. This he is said data. this. Yeah, this is the data. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. So you would like to have a home here, move here recently, and keep looking at him, and then he has a home somewhere else. Is not ready at this moment to have a home with you. Right. To make a home together here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other data about this charge? Could yeah. be like, hey, you know, I, know. I love you or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. I yeah. Mm -hmm. The other data is about this is that I feel that he laughs at my desire to have that home he feels this i think will go in into like uh, feelings or judgments well he makes fun of it okay he makes so, fun of my, okay so he so makes fun fact. of it yeah there's okay, a fact so that fact. he feels that i'm obsessed about it he says he says that i have an sort of a, almost an obsession about it which is probably true <laughs> It's another okay. fact. So just do it like incident report. You said to me, you, you laughed at me sometimes, and then you... Uh, yes, you laughed at me sometimes about my need to have a home being an obsession, which I yeah. felt was a put down. And you said that this is an obsession. He used the words obsession. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, he uh, uh, used the word obsession, yes. 
Uh, now this is unusual because we have to get it. Can I have a data check? <laughs> <laughs> data check. Um, Do don't recall. Don't data. recall doing uh, saying obsession. But 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 yeah. You don't recall obsession, uh, but but everything else you recall. Uh, like what she said, all that she said. You are like yeah. Mm -hmm. That's her data. Uh, no. No, I don't. I don't agree. So one one of the things is is there are extenuating circumstances that I cannot uh, let go of the home in uh, in the Bay Area, and I have every intention of living the rest of my life with Maria, including having a home with her. But at this point, is it's just not possible for me to let go of that. Yeah. Well, she says you're not ready. So, right? Yes, the fact is that he's not the ready. The fact no. is that you are not ready. Right. Yes. That's true. There is yeah. a fact, not, yes. a, not a desire that he doesn't want, but the fact is he's yeah. not ready. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. so you like that ideally, and then he is not ready. Then he doesn't confirm about the obsession, but okay. Uh, the discussions about this, yeah, follow data. There are discussions about it. Almost daily discussion. Daily. Because yeah. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so, this, so now, data, you are obsessed with it. <laughs> obsessed. I mean, you're thinking about it a lot. Obsessed is a strong word. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, okay. All right. And really, just, just have eye contact with him. Really, don't just hear me. Okay. Let's go into. Uh, um, and, yeah. and the Any other, other data? data? The other mm -hmm. data is that. We went to see a home today, hmm. and 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 this resurfaced for me again. That yeah, you went to see a home today, and and mm -hmm. this idea that I'm on my own doing this resurfaced. Although, although he was with me, at some level, I feel like yeah. I'm on my own, and that resurfaced again. This is why it's yeah. We'll yeah. go into this. You're on your own because it's your perception, how you perceive all yeah. that. Uh, yeah. There'll be space for that. I'm not robbing you. Of it. All right, very good. Um, yeah, so take a breath into this, you know. And now the next step is like, what are your uh, thoughts or your judgments about this man? And you know what I want to say here, because we are spiritual people and it's not cool to have judgments and hey, don't be judgmental. This is your own thing. Uh, this, is, this is a good practice not to be judgmental, but we do have thoughts. And judgment so this process is perfect to create a safe container to have this out to be heard you know that's mean yeah what are your judgments about this man in connection to your charge that th that this relationship is not as important in his life in your life should i address him yeah yeah that this relationship is not as important in your life as other things. So you consider or think or judge that this relationship is not so is less important than other things. Yeah. Yes, I, 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 yes. Okay, what else? That he's not. You are. That you that you are not interested or able or willing to to protect me. Mm -hmm. So you have the thoughts that he's not willing or able or interested to protect you. Mm -hmm. Or to to, or to give me joy. He's not willing or, or ready to, or interested to protect you and give you joy. Yes. Yeah. And, and how would you, you know, we we're just exploring this. How would you call, how would you, how do you call a man like that? Like putting one word to it or two words. Um, Selfish, self-centered, selfish. Okay, so 
this is you know controlled process yeah but this is important so you are selfish and self-centered that's right well yes but more than that you are unloving you are unloving and, 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 and so centered and selfish. And selfish. Yes. And, and here it's really important for you to really be like a mirror. You just hold space, you know, yeah. And just, okay, just, you know, so her, her inner world coming up, yeah. All right, so selfish, unloving, not interested. What else? In connection to this charge. I, my judgments about him or what I have a lot coming up for me, but do I stay now with the judgments about him or what comes up? Let's finish some more about him. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into your feelings later. Now it's more like judgment. What judgments you have or thoughts you have about him? If there's anything else. That he doesn't know how to love. Doesn't know how to love. Mm -hmm. How do you call someone who doesn't know how to love? Selfish person. Selfish person. Yeah. And who doesn't know how to love and uh, self-centered and, and then unloving. Okay. All right. So just keep being present and, um, and uh, any other thoughts or judgments about him? Don't really care. It doesn't care about you. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So you said you have some thoughts or judgments about something else. Emotions about myself. Okay, emotion. Okay. All right. So so now close your eyes. Close your eyes. So there's this data and you saw the house today and this, this and that, and then your judgment that he's He's, he's selfish, self-centered, unloving, or doesn't know how to love, or not interested to, to care and protect for you. Yeah? So now go into your emotional body and, and just be aware of emotions that you have around this. Don't tell me, just, just notice what's happening. I'm shaking everywhere. I'm yeah. My body is shaking everywhere. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, like feeling words, this situation and, and connection to these judgments is like you feel like what I'm very, feelings? I'm very angry. Angry. I feel very, very angry. Angry, yeah. Angry. And where do you have this anger? Is it in the shaky or some other place? In, yeah. Yeah, my and legs are yeah. shaking. And... Yeah. Let's just notice and allow this and observe it. And... And, and I'm actually angry at myself. I it's mm -hmm. it's interesting that I I'm not even angry at him. I'm I'm very, very angry at myself. Angry with yourself, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anger towards him, anger towards yourself. Yes. And any other feelings you have around the situation besides anger? No, it's just this tremendous anger I have towards myself. Mm. Wow. And, uh, hmm. okay. So just stay, if you can just allow this. Now it's, it's here, usually it's in the background, you're busy and all that. Just, just be present to this energy, what we call anger. It's, it's shifting to sadness. Yeah. yeah, just let it do what it wants to do. Sadness. Ah, and where's this sadness? What do you feel it? It's in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. So do your best to, to 
be with it, you know, accept it. It's what it is here now. Any other emotion you have? It, it moved from the shakiness to my, it's still in my chest and it's, it's, it's like suffocating yeah. me. It's like yeah. my throat is constricting. Yeah, yeah, it's intense. Yeah, yeah, so just feel your, feel your, your bottom here in the chair and you hear my voice and just do your best to just allow this and observe this. So it's in the, in the throat is like what, fear? It's like somebody's choking. Yeah. And it's like from one to 10, it's like how intense? can bear it. You can bear it, yeah. All right, so, so just hang in with this, just being present, really aware of these feelings. This, this, we are already going very deep. This process is, mm, it's good. yeah. So we, we need, we'll go to the next part here. But just take another, another minute or so to just be aware of all these energies without doing anything to them, just like not a minute or two. Let them be as they are. And something is aware of them. The sensation, tightness, sadness, all these energies. So as you are aware of these feelings, and then, you know, like, like anger and sadness, shaking, and then the, the judgments that came out were like uncaring, unloving, selfish, self-centered. Is this somehow, does it remind you this dynamic of judgments and feelings? Does it remind you of anything in your life? It reminds me of. It reminds me of. Who is the? If you were to see somebody behind Hamid, you know somebody behind him, what face do you see there? It's not a face. It reminds me of everyone that I've attached to. Wow. So many people from the past that you attach to. That were not there, really. Yeah. Wow. So there's a lot of pain in that. Many people, whole lifetime. It's intense. It's hard. So who, in, anybody in particular, they are people, yeah, you know them, yeah? Yes. So can, can we identify them a little bit? Some of the most important players. Even my own mom. Your mom, okay. So you see your mom. In which way is it somehow reminding you of your mom? My mom was a good person. But she never did anything for me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You had to do everything by yourself. You were alone. Yeah, she wasn't nurturing or protecting you. Huh? Wow. I'm sorry. It's messed up. She would be like, I love you. I love you. I always think about you. But she would never do anything. Wow. <clears throat> I was always alone. Mm. Literally, yeah. fact should not do anything. Wow. She hmm. left me when I was one. Wow, wow. So that's, it's, it's a big five here. It's a lot of pain, really serious, real, legitimate pain. <sighs> Who else is there behind Hamid? 
and your mother. Anybody else? The key players? My husband. Your husband? <laughs> yes. From the past? Yeah. Yes. So, like, you know, yeah, see this one, one of them. Yeah. So, yes. the number one. Yeah. In which way it reminds you? In a, in a nutshell. Husband number one. Good, very good person. Mm -hmm. But very much into his needs. Yeah, about himself and what he needs and what he wants to do and somehow there's no space for you somehow. But really nice. Good, good and loving. Good person. Yeah. Like my mom. Good yeah. person, but... Yeah. And the husband number two. Maybe not so good of a person, but at the same the same game of I love you, I love you, I love you, but yeah, but I I'm not here. I'm leaving. I'm yeah. not here. I'm going. Yeah. I have other things to do. I yeah. have other priorities. I have. Yeah, it doesn't grow into two, more togetherness. It's more like, uh, you know, independence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Husband number three? <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> two is one too many. Yeah. <laughs> so, are these the key players or is there somebody, another key player that we missed here? that it reminds you of? <sighs> no, these are the, yeah. the most charged relationships yeah. of my life. These, these three, my yeah. mom and my two husbands. What about daddy? Daddy was different. <sighs> yeah, my father was somehow he's not charged the same way I feel sorry for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not there also, but I don't... Doesn't remind you of the dynamic yes. with him, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. So, you know, I, I acknowledge that this is like a big file of pain here and actually it's like this, this process is, uh, yeah, it needs, so it needs actually more time and going with this, but stay on track with this process of clearing. So see your mommy and the two husbands behind Hamid, yeah? And realizing that there's all the pain now, you're not dealing just with him, but with all that, yeah? It's kind of obvious, it's in your, in your, in your system. So are you willing for this process, just, just for this process, the best you can to kind of remove them from behind him? So we are just dealing with him. Just him. So somehow energetically or like uh, symbolically, you let those go behind him. So we are just talking just to him. Okay. Yeah. So the um, pain is there, I know, but like we are like now consciously dealing just with this man. It's hard actually because he's he's symbolic of everyone I attach to somehow. Yeah, it is hard. It is hard. It is hard. It is the the closed one, the one that was supposed to be there. Yeah. But just for the sake of this process, because I'm going to ask a question that only applies to him, not to the other people. Yeah. So let's say you remove them and then now having you just him, him. What do you need from this man? Assuming that you may never get it, but what is it that you really need from this man? Take some time and then, then tell him. You know, it's, it's not that he has to do it or that, I don't know. It's good to know what is it that you need in this man. I, I need 
needed. I needed him to be really free. And I need you to. Mm -hmm. To be free and available. You want him for. I don't anything? see him as free. You want him I don't. To be to be free from and available to be more available for the togetherness with you, right? Yeah, you need him ideally to be free and available for life with you, life together. Is there anything else that you need from him or this is it? I need you to not see that as some big sacrifice. Yeah. That that, that availability is some huge sacrifice on mm -hmm. your part. So you want him ideally to, to do it willingly. And happily. Happily, willingly, effortlessly, naturally, like this. Hey, yeah. Yeah. You want him ideally to, to be available and to be free for life with you. And ideally, it is willingly wants to do it. Not as a chore, not as an obligation. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. So that, that's important. You know, we, we, we in this process, we, we, we can't control people. We can't change people. We don't know if we may get this or not, but it's really important to know what is it that you need. Yeah. So this is what you really need from you. Huh. Um, we need this to be easier, less complicated. Our the relationship, you mean? This, yeah. yeah. This coming together to be. Yeah easier and less yeah. complicated yeah need more less more simple yeah and how about you hey man i need you to can you like something some some um, it's not that he has to do it but some precise request for what you need besides what you said you know if there's anything else okay all right so so just one more one more question but but here you know, we, we, you may or you may not get this, right? Because we can't control yes. other people. Yeah. Yes. Um, so hopefully get it, but we don't know. So now the last question is, what you need from yourself? How do you want to be with this situation or with any other situation similar to this in the future? How? Because it's the only thing you can control, basically. The only thing you can do something about it. What do you need from yourself? How do you want to be with this from your highest, wisest self? I feel that I need to run away until I don't need anything from him. I feel like I Sometimes I think about ending the relationship so that I can find some strength in me. I can find myself in some way where I can be in the relationship and not need anything anymore. Mm -hmm. So ideally you need from you to be, uh, to feel kind of whole and complete. Yes. Not needing him for, for fulfillment. For anything. For anything. <clears throat> this is tricky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because this spiritually, you know, universe, this, is, this is the right way to go. But then the relationship that's... Um, Bonded, it's a bonded relationship that's uh, tricky. But let's let, make it more precise. Also, now this is happening. He's not ready. He's he's not ready now. He is his this thing, whatever. Yeah. 
and then this keeps happening in houses and frustration and conversations and this keeps coming up every day yes. every day yeah for me for you inside and of me. inside of you how do you want to be with this stuff that keeps coming knowing that we can't change it i mean this yeah i need to be with this from a strength position not from a weakness position this mm -hmm. is what i need for myself yeah to be with this which is a painful file to be with this from a place of strength, power strength, strength and yeah. power not from a place of need and weakness mm -hmm. yeah how would that look like how, how would that look like to, to be with this deep, deeply stirring vulnerable parts and strong feelings from a place of strength and it would it would it would feel like an empowered hot woman not a needy pitiable little okay. girl okay yeah so an empowered hot woman right okay <laughs> so we are, this is you guys put me here this is like a difficult this is a charge thing but how about like this to me if i can say how an empowered hot woman would would sound like yeah yeah an empowered hot woman that really likes this dude and ideally would like to be with him yeah this is the truth right uh, or maybe even more than that that an empowered wife, who, woman who wouldn't be wouldn't be troubled if okay so you want like an empowered uh, if you didn't hot, if you if you didn't if you didn't want to be with me i, I wouldn't yeah. be troubled by it yeah so you want to be like an empowered hot enlightened woman absolutely <laughs> yeah that's the best way i like that that's the way to go uh, but with the enlightenment we can put that for side <laughs> but but like you know the empowered woman to me sounds like but don't yes. believe me it's like like dude listen i i i, I know what i want that i'm interested yes. in this yes this is important to me yes and it is okay it's okay to want to share with someone i, I don't want to fuck around i want to have a partnership to live with someone so this is what i would like this is torturing uh, uh i i i learned some more clarity from you man either we do this or we don't do this you know uh i don't know i mean this is how it sounds to me i may be wrong but so like the empowered means like hey this is what i want this is what's true for me without forcing anybody but this is your truth you know yeah yeah but that 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 tone doesn't really suit me well i mean i'm not saying to tell him something it's more yeah, like an attitude yeah. inner attitude it, is not to even speak that to inner him. attitude yeah doesn't really suit me i think i'm more from a yeah it, i have a sense of what a balanced harmonious yeah. relationship yeah looks like and feels like yeah and I'm, i feel like i'm striving internally and externally for that balanced harmonious relationship yeah and and but at some levels at some levels i'm not succeeding at some levels we are succeeding at some levels yeah. but there are levels at which i'm not succeeding yeah and i feel very disempowered at those levels yeah well this is a this is a intense couple therapy uh, and, <laughs> and um, um, I, you need i think you need more technology to to reach some resolution uh, this process uh, and although i i feel that Ma, probably you have less charge with him <laughs> now versus, yeah now well, versus rather 20 than, minutes than 20 ago. minutes ago there is a more like a okay um you know, it's not situation is not resolved. Yes. And there definitely some homework of how would 
yeah, this is important. You said you want to, to show up in this difficult, vulnerable situation to show up as, a, as an empowered, yes. conscious woman. Yes. So, so I, I, I suggest to kind of contemplate on this or work yes. with someone or what would that look like? And an empowered, conscious woman is, is, is of these vulnerable young parts and this yes. is tender. Yes. And so it's not yes. that, you know, the empowered, conscious woman is not that I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. You guys, fuck you guys. I'm used to being by myself. You know, I've always been by myself, so I don't need anybody. It's not that. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. Yeah. I'm going to buy my own house. Yeah. Yeah. No, this comes from the adaptive self reliant pattern. <laughs> Well, it's so painful, I don't need this. Which, it might be a time for that, you know? It might be a time for that if situation keeps being like this forever, you know? An empowered, conscious woman will see how, how you use this, you know? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I got it, I got it. Thank you very much, thank you yeah, yeah. for bearing with us. <laughs> welcome, welcome, thank you. One, one moment there, if I may. Yeah. When we were we were removing the other people yes. from behind him, he, yes, uh, there was a point there where I wanted to inquire if it would be okay to like be grateful to Hamid yes. for showing yes. you those other people yes. behind there because he, he shows up as a being in your life that gets to reflect this pattern to yes. you yes. so that you can actually work on it. Yes, yes. In a conscious way. Yes. And so I just wanted to bring in that piece of gratitude for him standing in that yes. place in your yes. life. Yes, yes. Thank you, Hamid. Reflecting. <laughs> <Our problems. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I say something really quick, Mihai? Is there space for comments at all? Yeah, and also I'm aware that it's like I'm 10 minutes over and at the same time things are sensitive, so it's tricky. If some of you guys need to go, go. Uh, you guys can stay some more uh, stay uh, yes Lex okay yeah sorry I'm in my car I had to leave my office but um wow that was so powerful and I just wanted to say that it was it was really intense for me also because i literally had that exact same process with my partner almost word for word over the past few days mm. and i just find that really interesting like all of the things that you were saying um like the disruption with the home and feeling not prioritized or like everything else is more important and selfishness and all of these themes and even the way you went through it in your own consciousness really mirrored a process I've also been going through um so it was just very cathartic and I just want to say thank you for um putting your stuff out there like that because you never know um who it's gonna help hmm. yeah. that's it yeah it was it was very it was completely reminiscent of the process that I've been in so very cool thank you yeah. for sharing yeah yeah. So, to to show this, uh, uh, basically, um, you know, to to to, you need more technology to go into this. So there's definitely this a wound with the, the child and all that, and and abandonment and and the deep painful stuff that it has to be solo work or yes. solo with someone else. Yes. And and h however, this I think this dispels some uh, looping. So it's more like clear, you know, um, the process, usually let's say a client comes in your office and they're upset with somebody, you take them through data, make sure that there's like no interpretation, uh, data, what actually happened. Because often, not so much in this case, but often nothing really happened or something happened, but, but there's a lot of interpretation on top of it. You know, yes. uh, sometimes like, what is the data? Well, you came and you looked at me and then you smile. Anything else? No. Or, you know, there's some energy, there's something that there's all this, uh, um, uh, this judgment, but, but, or you, I'm imagining that you're judging me, but actually nothing happened in data, you know? So anyway, the first is to, to have the data. The second one to have the client say the judgments, 
uh, and especially for spiritual people, it's hard for them to say that and really try to make it blatant. Uh, blatant, this is, they are needed like that so we don't tiptoe and be uh, spirit, spiritual uh, because the judgments will actually are necessary to evoke the feeling, actually. And actually it's the judgments and the feeling that will evoke the past dynamic past dynamic yes. from yes. the past yes. uh, so so get the judgments until they're over like you are he's like that he's like this he's like that and then the therapist like yeah and like, yeah how do you call that oh he's like an asshole he's an asshole okay and he's like this and it's selfish and, uh, uh. and then then go into the feelings what are the feelings the emotions this is not this process is more like a warrior process actually is not staying too much somatically and staying too much it's more like okay you have this judgment what do you feel now i feel sad i'm angry where here there here okay you have sad angry mad so it's more like quicker a little shallow superficial however you had a lot of stuff so i couldn't just kind of cut you like that i really felt like i cut you i did very fast so you needed something else um feeling and then i say okay now you see these judgments and you put them out again and the feeling doesn't remind you of anything. Mm -hmm. So this will like, who is behind that? So then you see his mommy, his daddy, and in which way does it remind you of this or that? So you yes. identify, there's one more question I forgot to ask. It's like, does this remind you somehow of yourself? Because often, many times when people are charged with something, it's not so much in this case because it's the other underlying stuff is that we are like upset with something that we don't like in ourselves. Yes. And it reminds me of myself when I was younger. You are, you are so full of shit and things all about you and all that. Uh, what does it remind me of? Oh, me, man. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? That's the uh, classic. Yes. I'm talking generally speaking. Uh, so then once we identify, like symbolically remove them. So of course, yeah, it's hard to remove them. But like just for the sake of clarity, we're trying to get clarity. Okay. So just now with Joe. Joe. Boss, what do I? What do you need from this man? Assuming you may never get it, but what do you need? You know, this gets to some core need, core clarity. You know, just saying that and hearing that, it's like okay, that's that's what's up. You know, I need you to fucking stop doing this and to to work on yourself and like that and this. You know, I, I'm not talking about him now. Yes, yes, just yes. General. Uh, so and then. Then you say, you know, you may or you may not get this. And this situation with your boss may happen again, keeps happening, and now it, you will get lost and lost in it. How do you want to be with this? How do you want to respond to this? And then usually, like, well, you too, the person gets to, you know, what, how do I want to be with this ideal? You know, and then form a strategy and all that. And usually it's kind of more like dispelled. So the um, role of the other person is just to be there and listen. Well, yeah, this is in Mankind Project groups, which is pretty intense warrior stuff. They sit in front of each other like this, and you're holding a staff, everybody, and you're telling her, you are a piece of shit. <laughs> and you, you don't care about this. It's only about you, and the other person needs to be instructed to. There's also this other form that like they repeat back. I am a piece of shit and I am like this, and I am like that, and this already, you know, yes. this, this helps. But what I wanted to teach is more like you with the client alone. Yes, yes, uh, yes. You know? So I mean, this, we'll see more of this in the work, in that movie that you said, right? The work? Yeah, yeah the yeah. work. I forgot to send it to you, yeah. No, 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 we found uh, it. You found it, yeah. yeah. We'll watch. So this is more like gestalt, psychodrama, yes. Yes. Uh, cathartic, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. But I totally, how are you, man? Okay, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. He's still here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, a question about that. Is there then also a counter process? Yeah. The person uh, who is just yeah. making it? Let's say that imagining that, let's say you are in a, basically it's recommended is that, that nothing follows up on this now. Because the other person, so nothing follows up. If he has a charge with her, this will a, be another result, time. As a result of this process. As a result or something else, it's another time. <coughs> so this is now uh, like, it's like that. And usually they say, hey, is there anything you need in order to be complete? So this is your work now. Yes. This process was your work. Yes. He is just loving and kind enough 
and caring to to hold space for you you know i mean <laughs> uh, now this the work by Barbara and katie would work very good on those judgments you know yes. also yes. you know yes 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 yeah that will work very good like he is I mean, he's like this and like that, and like this, he doesn't care about it. Okay. And how do you know that that is true? And now, is it true? Is it true? Like, yeah, and and, 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 are you absolutely is true? true? Is it true? Are you absolutely true? All this way? So you can, yeah. Yeah, got but, it. But definitely, uh, there is uh, this abandonment, painful stuff, which is no way around it. <laughs> yes. But some journey, maybe. <laughs> 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 to really kind of let it devour you. Yes. Let it devour you now. You are the most conscious ever, the most stable and powerful. Let them devour you. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah it's it's fascinating that you know you feel like you work with it. I'm I'm 52 years old, right? Yeah. And I have been on some kind of a awareness and and self help. Started with self help, yeah. and then you know all of that. You know, yeah. for many many years, and you think you're done. Yeah. And then it comes up like the, you know, it just no. shows up like this. Is the deepest, and it usually doesn't show up. Uh, well, it shows up in the intimate relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every time you think, well, I'm done with all that stuff, I process and over process, you know, and then here, here it is again, you know. Yeah, so that's like a core uh, me feeling of separation, uh, where basically that is like I'm, I'm alone, yes, in, in the emptiness. I'm alone in the whole universe, you yes, know, yes. and that's uh, that's the felt sense, you mm -hmm. know, which that needs to be investigated, looked at, felt in order to reach liberation. That is needs to be went through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you, everybody. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for your courage and your openness. Yes. And I, Thank you. I, I, I would like to, to close the container. If you guys we can stay offline here, talk some more. But I just like to do uh, two health to, to together. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 Right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Blessings. Bye, Good guys. <laughs> uh, got over time a little bit, as you can yeah. see.